Hello guys, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to plot longitude and latitudes on uh, Excel and uh, in the previous tutorial uh, we have been looking at how to uh, do that in uh, GIS softwares such as uh, ArcGIS and uh, QGIS and so today I'll be showing you how to plot uh, points on a map in a Microsoft Excel. So I already have my data range right here. So the first thing that uh, you need to do when you have this particular data is just highlight everything, the range data, and uh, then convert the data into a table. So the way to convert a range into a table is by going to just click this home tab and uh, you should be able to see this style group under style group i uh, should be able to see the format as table so just click on format as table and uh, you can choose whichever format that uh, you are comfortable with and uh, for me i'll be uh, i want to choose that and uh, where is the data for your table so is the table is already highlighted and i should be able to check uh, this particular box if you your data has got uh, the headers so click ok and uh, now you have converted your data into table so another thing is that i don't want the first row i need to turn off the filter buttons so to do that just uh, highlight the first uh, row and then under table design and check the filter button and uh, the filter button are gone so now we are ready to plot our points so the most important uh, columns that we have here are longitude and latitudes so these are the data that uh, contain the uh, location information that will be plotted on the map so just uh, select the data again select just every every single data in that particular table and uh, go to insert just click the insert tab and under insert tab uh, next to charts you should be able to see this tours so under tours you have these 3d maps just click on it that and open the 3d maps so just give it a minute because you need to have internet connection uh, this box shows all the uh, headers that you have just close that and you can see that uh, the data is already plotted but uh, we need to set everything clear I'm just going to turn off uh, under location I'm just going to turn off all other columns and remain with longitudes and latitudes and uh, you also need to specify uh, these uh, longitudes because under uh, latitudes you need to select to make sure that your data uh, correspond to this particular uh, if, if it's latitude make sure that it's latitude and if you have or if your data is labeled as x and y also latitudes is uh, y coordinates so you can just choose y coordinates but for this particular data uh, as you can see mine is longitudes and latitude so for latitudes i'm just going to let it remain latitude and longitude let it be longitude that so you have your points plotted so these are uh, health facilities in kenya so not just uh, any health facilities they, they are ngo health facilities 
uh, here in Kenya. So these are the locations of those particular facilities. So another thing that uh, you can do with this data, uh, you can choose to, as you can see the data type right here, the, we are under uh, uh, stacked columns. So we want to visualize using the these particular bubbles. So you can just go ahead and click that. And uh, the bubbles look a little bit uh, large to me. So you can just choose to reduce the size. So uh, the, this uh, right hand side, you should be able to see these layer options. Just click this arrow to expand. And uh, you see this size uh, slider so you can just slide slide uh, to the towards left to reduce the size of the bubbles and we can also increase also uh, so I think a uh, 40 percent is uh, fine with me and uh, I think you can do, you can choose to reduce or increase the opacity of these particular bubbles. So as you slide along this slider, as you can see, the opacity reduces and also increases. So just leave it at 100. Uh, you can also change the color. Let me... Uh, those ones yellow, but uh, yellow doesn't look great. So I'll choose that. I don't know. Uh, so another thing you can do with this particular data, you can choose to customize uh, your points depending on the location. Uh, of your points so in order to customize or in order to uh, change the colors depending on the region that you are for example if I open my data table and see the administrative boundaries are province district division and location so location the is the smallest administrative administrative uh, boundary so the location you go to division district and uh, province so I want to use the division so what we do is to customize those points depending on the uh, division or any administrative boundary that you want so just expand on cut category in order to categorize those particular uh, hospitals and uh, choose division and I'll be sharing with you guys this uh, data but you can also find it in uh, ArcGIS Online so I got it from ArcGIS Online and I converted to uh, Excel but I'll be sharing uh, with you this uh, particular sample data. So you can see that our data doesn't look great. We need to reduce the size. As before, just go to layer options. And uh, just slide towards left. In order to reduce the size. I think that is fine. And... Uh, let me just hide that. So if I hover around, uh, if I hover on this particular uh, bubbles, you can see now we have the, it gives us the information, the latitude, longitude information, and the division also, yeah division it shows you the division where it's uh, located 
and the longitude and latitude information. So you can choose to let me just remove this just a legend and just delete that. Let me open my table again. Now, as you can see, I have this facility name. So what I want is when I just over around bubble, I want to see the name of that particular health facility. So in order to do that, you can just uh, uh, add field, not uh, category. Uh, under under layer options, just expand layer options to uh, add another uh, layer name. And uh, the last uh, bit of this particular uh, side, you should be able to see this data card and just please click on customize. So the data that you want to include is uh, the name of the health facility. Just click on this plus to add a field and uh, choose the facility name and click OK. So now when I hover around my data or my points, this uh, particular bubble points, uh, you will see that facility name now is added. And I you can also choose to set and do some few settings as you wish. You can uh, add, you can edit, you can remove those uh, the field that you wish to re uh, to remove but i'll just leave it at that so it's, uh, if i hover around my bubble points now i can clearly see the information and then another thing uh, that is clear now if, is that uh, these points have been customized or categorized depending on the location as you can see from these particular colors so the colorization is uh, based on uh, the location so like this particular one is uh, light yellow and it's uh, under Zavo West Division and the name is Suleiman Farouk Memorial Medical and if you go this one uh, near the South Sudan border, you can see this one is Songot Dispensary. It's under the uh, Kichogyo Division. So uh, that's how you can just play around with these settings and create a beautiful map. And if you want to change to flat map, just at the top, you can just click this flat map. You can see the map is now we are now dealing with flat map just click on it to deactivate and if you want to also uh, add the uh, labels so this map is powered by Bing but uh, it's more or less like street map so you can just uh, add labels to see exactly what's happening. So you can see now we have the labels. Uh, so this uh, our area of interest is uh, Kenya. Let me put it flat. And you can able to see uh, the labels of different uh, locations. So, just going to deactivate all that. Another thing you can do with this is to you can add a legend and choose to add a legend. And I can do some settings on this legend as you wish, but I'm not going to do that in this uh, video.
is this field list if you want to see all the fields in this particular data and just click on this field field list another thing you can do uh you can add text box just click on it you can just change the font like like using times new roman Oops, sorry. Now, I can reduce the size to 28, make it bold, now, like that, and I can just uh, add the title. You can describe your map. Like that then you just click create and now you have the text the text field you can just place it in the at the top right like that so that uh, people can understand what your map where data is all about so i believe that's it for this tutorial guys so that's how you you can simply uh, uh plot uh points of latitude and longitudes uh in excel so it doesn't necessarily have to be uh gs applications like uh, ArcGIS, ArcGIS, and uh, qgs or ArcGIS pro so that's it for this tutorial kindly remember to subscribe Give this video a like and uh, see you in the next tutorial.